Attention all high school anglers, MLF just announced their new rules for the 2025 high school season and there are big changes right here. Um, first of all, I wanna sort of start off by saying that I started high school bass fishing um, like when it wasn't even high school, it was a junior tournament trail. High schools haven't even adopted it at this point in time. So this program is really um, important to me overall because I would not be, hold on one second. So this right here was my first high school jersey um, during that time. I fished um, the Indiana Bass Federation, had a sponsored bass boat saver, had this jersey. I was super pumped. I was 13 or 14 years old when I was wearing this jersey. So to give you guys sort of an understanding of how long I've been in the sport, I was that's hanging up over there. And um, so to say that high school bass fishing is probably the most meaningful thing to me because I feel like it paved the way for me to learn how to be a, a good fisherman. Um, I grew up fishing um, the back. I, I grew up fishing, um, you know, in the back of the boat with some anglers and whatnot. And so that was something that 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 program got me out there. Where I didn't have a boat, and maybe my dad didn't have a boat and couldn't afford to take me out at that time. Really important to me. So MLF did announce um, today that in order to create a more level playing field for up and coming student anglers and reinforcing the learning of traditional bass fishing techniques, use of forward facing and 360 degree sonar will not be allowed in the high school bass fishing competition. Its use will not, however, be restricted during practice. So basically prohibiting forward facing sonar and 360 at the high school level is, is where they're at. That's their decision at MLF. I think that to me, be honest with you, I am all about it. I think that's really, really important. And, and this is why. I grew up, as I just told you in the beginning of this video, fishing high school. And I have been out there in the back of the boat. I've been um, where, you know, I couldn't afford a boat. I think this gives more opportunity to young anglers to get into the sport. If an angler, I mean, obviously I know this technology very, very well. I utilize it, I understand it very, very well. But if an angler in the front of the boat is out in the middle of the lake scoping around, right? And there's a co-angler in the back of the boat, he doesn't have a great opportunity to catch those fish. Puts that angler in the back of the boat at a little bit of a disadvantage. Now, if there's a team aspect of it, I can understand it, but still at the same point in time, you want young anglers to learn the fundamentals of bass fishing, just like anything else is the thing. If you want to start golf, what do you do? You learn how to chip, you learn how to putt, you learn how to drive, you learn how to you know, use your irons. The same thing in the fundamentals of bass fishing is important to the overall wealth of, in, in, in the, the, the future of the sport. And if we, especially in the time where you're so efficient using this technology, and you're three times as more efficient using this technology than, than you know, than anything else and any other technique, um, it it does dominate the sport at all levels. So pulling the reins back on this, not saying not teaching that part of the sport to these young anglers is not okay, but ultimately giving you know you have to learn the fundamentals you don't know how to dribble the ball you have, you have to learn how to pass you know how to layups three pointers in basketball it's all the same and there's so many unique scenarios that you have to figure out you have to have that gut feeling when the you're, you have to learn how that gut feeling in your stomach says man that cloud just went over i have 30 minutes to go throw a top water and you catch the biggest one of the day these are the decisions and, and teaching these young anglers at a young age to understand how just to fundamentally bass fish is, is really important. So I'm all in on this. I might get some flack for saying that, but I think that is really, really important. I think it gives, and it tells this, it, this is the message it sends. It, the message it sends is you do not have to have the nicest boat in, in the sport to compete in the high school level, right? You can be a Jacob Wheeler or Dustin Connell and, and barely get by and just try to fish your way through and get into the BFLs and ultimately get up there. Now, will you eventually have to learn how to utilize maybe the technology? Yeah, of course, I can see that. But you'll have a fundamental understanding of how to flip, pitch, cast, everything that you need to know to where you understand enough there. Now you bring your forward facing sonar aspects into this and we don't know what the future holds. So like, this gives the fundamentals of the young anglers to really understand what they need to know. Um, and 
I, I think this is going to be a good thing. I really do. I think you're going to get more young anglers into the sport. And I think this is going to really allow, I, you know, you hear anglers say this is an elitist sport. There's people out there that feel that way. Um, but at the end of the day, I, yeah, I want every young angler, whether they're in a bass tracker or an icon, you know, as a high school angler, uh, to go out there and feel like they have a shot at, at competing. And um, I think this is a, a really good step in the right direction for the MLF High School League, and, and it should make an impact overall. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all for watching this video. I'm, uh, hey, hey, I might jump back and, and, and have, to, uh, have to, we have that high school bass shootout next year. Yeah, it's, uh, it'll be a lot of fun, that's all I'm gonna say.